Are you one of those Valorant players who suffer from low FPS because of your low end or potato PC? Or maybe you don't know the exact settings for Windows and Valorant to get the most FPS out of your game and enjoy it. So watch this video until the end if you have FPS problem in Valorant. Hey guys, how are you? This is Kip. I'm back with another tutorial today. Today we are, I'm going to show you how to deal with FPS issues. Low FPS is a serious problem for a majority of Valorant players, especially if you have a potato PC, sorry friend, or sometimes even though you have a normal and good PC, but you don't get the right amount of FPS. So what should we do? That's why today I'm here to show the solutions. I'm dividing this video in two parts. The first part is uh, the essential Windows settings that you must do to get a good FPS in Valorant and the second part is in-game settings which is important as well so watch till the end and make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel for more content in the future let's go right into the video first we press Windows button and on the bar we search game mode and then we click on game mode settings and guys, make sure that this right here, game mode, is turned on. If it turns on, then it's probably working for you. So, what is exactly game mode? Game mode is game mode is a feature which exists on Windows 10 and 11. And the thing that game mode does is it turns off apps and services running in the background while you're playing any game. So turning it on will probably help you to boost your FPS in Valorant. The next one is graphic settings, uh, where you can find it uh, on the same page as game mode. On the right side you can see here we have graphic settings. Just click on it and a window will pop up. Uh, the first one is hardware, accelerated, GPU scheduling. Make sure that this one is turned on. And if it's not on, turn it on. As it says, it reduces latency and improve your performance in games. Uh, but make sure when you turn it on, you restart your computer. After we turn it on, what we need to do is come down here. We should browse uh, our Valorant game. Uh, click on Browse and go to the disk that you installed your Valorant for me and C. Valorant then head to Riot Games, then again Valorant and Live and we have a Valorant icon, icon here, just click it and add it and uh, when you add it, something like Boost Strap, a package game should pop up click on it, uh, click on options and three options will pop up and it's pretty obvious that we should choose high performance which uses our graphic card just Click on high performance, then click on save, and we are done. Make sure to restart your computer after you turned on the hardware, ac accelerated GPU scheduling, and you added Valorant. Now it's the time for some in-game settings. Uh, we had to reopen Valorant for sure first. Then we click on settings, then again settings. Uh, we head over straight to video. And first one is general, we don't have anything to, do, anything to do with general. We go straight to graphics quality and we're here. For the first one, multi reddit rendering, whatever it is. If you have a medium PC, a PC which is uh, neither bad, neither good, something between, uh, you can turn it on and it will help you to boost your FPS up. But if you have a potato PC and your laptop player, uh, make sure to turn it off. Material quality, set it to low. Texture quality, low. Detail quality, low. UI quality, low. And vSense and Vigilator, whatever it is, most of them low. And for anti-aliasing, uh, make sure to put it on none. For the guys who are curi cu curious what anti-aliasing is, uh, it's an option when you turn it on it will make 
the objects in the game are smooth and it will uh, give them a good shape. But that's not very important for us because we want to get more FPS, so just uh, put it on none. And for filtering, make sure it's uh, 1x. Uh, and make sure that all the things right here are all off, because if you turn them on, they're just, they just basically reduce your FPS for no reason. Just turn all of them off. Let's see for those guys who did all these things but haven't seen that much changes uh, the last thing you can do is to change resolution and uh, it will really help your FPS to go up um, but it really decreases the quality of the game and if you are that kind of a player who really doesn't care about the graphics of the game when you're playing I recommend you to change your resolution but don't go under uh, 1280x960 I really don't recommend it because the graphics will look awful if you go under this one but above that it's okay you can change it oh guys and something I almost forgot in general tab in video settings general tab make sure that this limit uh, or like limit options limit fps in, limit fps in menu max fps in menu or limit fps always make sure that all of them are off okay just turn all of them off because if they are on they will limit your fps to whatever the number in here is and that will cause problems and lastly this NVIDIA reflex low latency which is at the bottom of the general tab for some people works when they turn it on plus boost uh, for the others it will uh, work when you, when they turn it just on but for me it decreased my FPS when I turn it whether on or on plus boost so I just turn it off but make sure to test it and see if it works for you or not if it does it will really help you Before I end the video, I'm going to show uh, laptop users a quick tip which uh, they should always do it when you're running an application or uh, playing video games which is you should uh, select uh, your battery icon right here on the uh, below right corner you should click on it and make sure to put it on best performance when you are playing a video game or you are, you are running apps such as Photoshop or Premiere Pro or anything else just make sure to set it on best performance thank you so much for watching today's video I hope it was useful for you make sure to hit that like button and subscribe my channel for more content in future this is Kip and I wish you a great day until the next video bye